Hello, welcome to Coca Bytes with Aaron Shaw Hernandez. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the basic features of part of speech tags in the corpus. In order to find the part of speech list, look on the left hand side of the screen where it says POS or part of speech list. By clicking on this word, a drop down menu will appear. You will notice by selecting the drop down menu a variety of grammatical categories. It starts with more general categories at the top, such as all nouns, all verbs, all adjectives, and all adverbs, followed by more specific categories, different kinds of nouns, different kinds of verbs, different kinds of adjectives, etc. In order to view the specific tags used for each of these categories and all other tags used in the corpus, Simply select the question mark next to the part of speech list and a help screen will appear in the bottom right corner of the screen. This will give more information about the tags as well as a link that will give a list of all of the tags used in the corpus. By selecting a specific category from the part of speech list, a tag will appear in the word search string box. For example, if I select all adjectives, the tag J asterisk will appear in the word query box. If I press search now, it will show me a frequency list of all of the adjectives in the corpus. This is because the display is on the list function which displays a list of frequency. Pressing search demonstrates to me that in the corpus, the most common adjective is other, followed by new, good, American, etc. You can view the amount of hits that the, the corpus generates for its frequency in descending order. However, if you want to find more specific information rather than just a general part of speech category, but you, would, but you want to find information about restricting a word to a general part of speech category, simply type in your word before the tag. For example, if you desire to see smooth as an adjective, you type in the word smooth into the box. However, it is important to note that the difference between smooth period adjective and smooth space adjective will result in two different searches in the corpus. Smooth space adjective and pressing search will show that all of the instances where smooth is followed directly by an adjective and will list the frequency of those adjectives in order. You will note that it is more common to see smooth followed by white than smooth followed by blue. By clicking on the word or the phrase, you will see the keyword and context display that will show uses of this phrase smooth white. If I change my search to have smooth period with the tag of an adjective, the corpus will demonstrate to me all uses of smooth tagged as an adjective. That would eliminate all uses of smooth as another part of speech. For example, it would eliminate all uses of smooth as a verb. Press search and you will notice this looks more similar to the basic frequency search that we performed in previous videos. Smooth and its general frequency in the corpus appears, but if I click on the keyword and context display, I am able to see that it is truly just smooth used as an adjective, such as smooth sauce in one of the example sentences. I wish to emphasize that it is not important to memorize the part of speech tags used in the corpus. Press reset and type in a new word such as research that can be used as both a noun and a verb and you will see that if I click on the part of speech list and select from the drop down menu of nouns the tag will always automatically appear. I simply need to adjust and add the period rather than the space to indicate to the corpus I wish research as a noun, not research, followed by a noun, and the appropriate search results will appear. And that gives a basic introduction to the part of speech tags used in the corpus.